Okay, so I've been having an issue with this car where uh, something will happen and then it will go into a transmission limp mode. So it'll stay in whatever gear it's in if it's in a certain gear when it happens. And if you come to a stop, put it into park and then put it back into drive, it'll only be in second. So that's a type of transmission limp mode. So I'm going to connect the scanner and see what it says and then we'll take it for a test drive and see what happens and we'll definitely get to the bottom of this and get it fixed. All right, now that we're looking at the wiring diagram here, that's the N3 speed sensor. That's the one that we're having an issue with. And that is gonna be the circuit that it uses. Let's take a look at it here. I know that fuse is good because it would set other codes if it wasn't. This is gonna be the TCM and this is the conductor plate inside the transmission. All right, the N3 is the only one that's not working here, so. It shares the same circuit as some of the other ones, so the only wire we would really need to check is this yellow one. And the ones that I'm gonna mark in green here must be working because it shares the same circuit with other things, so. Theoretically, it could only be something wrong with that one wire between the TCM and the conductor plate. So we definitely want to check the connections, and if the connections are good, then I suspect the conductor plate is bad. All right, what I'm going to do now is drive the front of this car up on the ramp so I can crawl under. And then I'm going to take a look at the plug going into the transmission. We want to make sure that there's no liquid in it or there's no corrosion or anything. So, All right, there's the plug to the transmission. The tab on the top is going to turn counterclockwise. So I'm going to turn that left down. And as that turns left down, it should pop that socket back should pop the connector back and then we'll take a look at the pins a little tiny bit of fluid there which isn't the end of the world there shouldn't really be any fluid in there though but where the pins are it doesn't look like there's much of anything going to start with the T30s in the back there and we're going to get this pan drained and then we're going to have to drop this pan out of the way and underneath the pan will be the valve body and then we're going to take that valve body off. So we're going to drop this pan first. If you're interested in seeing all of the instructions on the diagnosis of this code then I'll show them now. You can pause if there's anywhere that you need to pause. It tells you to check all of the wires between the transmission and the TCM. I checked my wires between the transmission and the TCM, and I just checked them visually. There was no corrosion and no liquid or anything, so I didn't suspect anything wrong with that. What I do suspect to be the issue is something wrong with the conductor plate, possibly somewhere where it connects to the N3 speed sensor. And if we replace the conductor plate, it will be replacing the N3 speed sensor and it should fix the issue. What I did end up finding is that the N3 speed cutout at certain points while driving before 
So I think that there's something wrong inside the conductor plate. And I'm gonna get that replaced and that should definitely fix this issue. All right, now that there's fluid in it and it's back in, I'm gonna take it for a test drive. I'm just going into the data stream for the transmission here. All right, N3 is the speed sensor that we were having issues with before. When it did cut out, it would say like 9,999 RPM, something like that. And then it would eventually cut out, but it's only gonna give us a reading in second, third, and fourth. So let's go for a drive and hopefully everything will work. So far, so good. Everything seems to be fine. 